Agent Fluffy here, and welcome to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. Now, let's go to the testimony. Testimony, the victim and I. Um, I, I admit I was there, but I'm not a killer. All he did was find his body. I hardly knew the guy to begin with. I never even talked to that stuck up British wannabe. Hmm, I see. So you hardly knew the victim? Right! Like I said, I'm not a killer. Phew, it looks like the judge understands. Well, you'd be naive, you know, too naive. Huh? <laughs> It seems you've forgotten one small thing, young lady. And that would be... The witness still has to undergo something called cross-examination. Cross-examination? He's right! And it's the defense's duty to carry out the cross-examination. The purpose is to determine if the witness testimony contains any contradictions. Contradictions? If a witness is lying, their statement will conflict the court record. But Mr. Wright is my client! Even if he is your client, in court, all lies must be struck down. As a lawyer, that is your duty, you see? What does he mean by that? Is he saying this testimony just now? That there was a lie? A contradiction? Now then, the cross examination, you please, Miss Faye. Please, Mr. Wright, tell me you haven't been lying. When you say there, you mean the place where the victim was murdered? Y yeah, sort of. The place where something happened anyway. Something! You can't hide what happened. We have photographic evidence. Achoo! 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 Uh, anyway, Mr. Wright, what were you doing at seeing the crime? I thought you said you didn't know the victim, Mr. Swallow. It was just a coincidence. We bumped into each other by accident. A coincidence, huh? Say you found the body, so who called the police? Huh? Um, <coughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, it was some some of the other students that notified the police. Other students? That's correct. They were witnesses. Witnesses who saw the defendant standing there next to the body in shock. What? Is that true, Mr. Wright? Could you stop sneezing every time you're in a bind? Well, it's true I was pretty shocked when I found the body. But, but I... So, you didn't know his face or even his name, right? Right! Um, uh, well, no. That is, I mean... So, which is it? Do you know him or not? <coughs> now see here, you can't avoid answering the question with sneezing all day. Uh, um, uh, well, I guess I did know his name. News to me? Why didn't you tell me that before? Um, I heard he used to date Dolly. Who's this Dolly person? Ah, oh, yes, that'll be the defendant's lover, Miss Dolly Hawthorne. Oh, I see. Ah, oh, young love. Ah, oh, young love. So bittersweet. But that's all I knew about him. I say. Okay. 
I need to press it. Mr. Wright, you said the following in your testimony. I hardly knew the guy to begin with. Th that's right! I mean, why would I even... But that doesn't sound right. If you hardly knew him, then why would you say that the victim was a stack of British wannabe? Well, Mr. Wright? Ah! No, it wasn't me! I'm not the killer, I swear! Mr. Wright, I'll give you an opportunity to revise your testimony. How is it you knew the victim was, as you put it, a British wannabe? Y yes, well... He was always walking around with a huge Union Jack on the back of his shirt. Did you see it at the crime scene? The Union Jack, I mean? Yes, that's right. I saw it at the crime scene. That's why... That's why I figured he must love British stuff, see? It's true! Cross my heart! I swear I didn't do it! He's acting fishier than the salmon I ate last night. May I ask you something, Miss Faye? Y yes, Your Honor. Y yes, Your Honor. What is it now? Who is this person anyway? This Union Jack fellow. The Union Jack is the name of the flag of England. Oh, I see. So you mean like stars and stripes, right? Like stars and stripes, right? As usual, Your Honor, your insight astounds me. Hey, something just occurred to me. Isn't there something strange about this bit just now? Mia, there's a contradiction here. But Mr. Crossberry! Quickly now, show that boy you mean business. With evidence, I mean. Okay, Mia, check the court record carefully. Oh, my dear, do you think you can manage on your own at this point? I need some help. Um, uh, Mr. Grossberg, I can use a little help. Aw, uh, please don't look so sad. It brings a tear in my eye when you do. Alright, listen carefully. By comparing the testimony to the court record, you should be able to discover any contradictions, if there are any. And when you found one... I present the piece of evidence that contradicts the witness's testimony? Yes, that's the ticket. But still, I don't see any contradictions in Mr. Wright's testimony. Hmm, maybe you don't have enough information yet. Information? You can press for more information by leaning on a witness. Even if they're my own client? It doesn't matter who it is. If you think they're lying, press them like a cheap suit. That's the obligation of an attorney. Okay, Mia. More time from the very beginning of his testimony. Wait, something is very strange. Let's see. Back of his shirt. Something is very strange. Addiction. Are you certain you saw this Union Jack? Y yeah, I'm sure. It was right here on his back. Miss Bray, is there some points in this line of questioning? Your Honor, please take a another look at the crime scene photo. As you can see, there's absolutely nothing written on the victim's back. Hey, wait a minute! It's wearing a leather jacket! The Union Jack was on the back of the t-shirt he was wearing. I was under the impression he accidentally came across a body. But if that was really the case, you wouldn't know that, would you? You had no idea at all what he was wearing underneath that jacket! Mr. Wright, you've been lying to me! Please forgive me! <laughs> Mia, you made her client cry! Let him. That P on his chest doesn't stand for Phoenix anyways. I can't believe I trusted him. 
Professor Red was all wrong. <laughs> that was an impressive bit of cross-examination. Thank you for uncovering the defendant's lies for me. It's quite clear that this man did not simply stumble upon the scene of the crime. Ugh. Uh-oh, did I go too far? By the way, Mr. Wright, you seem to have a rather bad cold. Have you taken any medication for it? I, uh, um, yeah, I took some, but... What's the medicine that you took over counter brain and cold? Cold Killer X? Yeah, that's right. It kills colds good. Hey, wait a second. How did you know I'm a big fan of Cold Killer X? <laughs> Wouldn't you happen to have that medicine with you right now? Well, actually, I think I have lost it somewhere. He lost it? Doesn't this even have anything to do with the case? Mr. Wright, shall I tell you where your cold medicine is right now? Uh huh? Your Honor, I'd like you to take a look at another photo from the crime scene. What? What's this? In the victim's hand? What? Uh, 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 wrong voice. What, what's this? In the victim's hand? It's. It's called Killer X. Yes, but even I've got a bottle of Cold Killer X in my apartment. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that argument won't work. There's no doubt as to who this bottle of Cold Killer X belonged to. Especially since Mr. Wright's fingerprints were all over it. Wh what? Sensing this murderous intent, Mr. Swallow must have picked up the bottle of medicine. Dropped it by Mr. Wright and hid it in his hand. He proposed his propose in doing. So, can only have been to identify his killer as Phoenix Wright. Order! Order the court! Your Honor, I'd like to present this photo and bottle as evidence. Very well. The court will accept them into the record. Also, the victim's wristwatch is broken. Broken? Yes, it was. It ceased functioning when a large wave of electricity passed through it. Well, Mr. Wright, do you have some kind of explanation for all of this? Ugh. This is really bad. Oh, my buttocks. My poor, poor hemorrhoids. Rosberg, that's CMI! Witness testimony, what really happened? The truth is, I went because he called me. He was in the pharmacology department, so we agreed to meet at 2.45 behind that building. We talked for a bit, and then at around 3 o'clock, we split up. Then later, when I went back, I found him lying there. I've been taking Cold Killer X for the last two or three days, but I lost my bottle of it around lunchtime on the day of the accident. Mr. Wright, that's completely different than the testimony you gave previously. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I was afraid you wouldn't believe the truth. You forgive me if I say I hardly find your current testimony any more credible. Miss mm, Faye, please begin your cross-examination. Oh, please, Mr. Wright, don't tell any more lies. We will begin the cross-examination in the next episode. So this has been Agent Fluffy, and I'll see you guys then.